What's up everybody? Sergeant Acid here, playing Star Citizen Alpha 2.6.3 and today I wanted to do a quick video on getting to the infamous and fabled Benny Henge. So this is going to be a pretty quick video. Um, I just wanted to do this before 3.0 comes out and planetary rotations and things like that come into effect and then it's going to be really really hard to find this place. So if you're new to Star Citizen and you've never been here this is just a quick guide to get you there and if you're a seasoned star citizen well it's still fun to visit this place because soon it's not going to be very easy to find so without further ado let's get started as you see we are playing with the avenger titan today this is a very good ship it's very affordable it's very nice for all levels of pilots I think it's a great entry ship. It's got some cargo space. It's got a bed. It's agile. It's got some good weaponry. It's just all in all a good affordable ship. Highly suggested if you don't already own one. So let's get started. Aegis statuses activated. Systems green. Launch complete. Landing gear retracted. Chaff ready. Flare ready. All right, so first we're going to jump to Com Array 730. Sorry about the mishap there. I just got second joystick, so I'm still kind of getting used to all my settings. Quantum travel. So first we're gonna jump to Commodore 730. side of the asteroid belt here you're gonna see a red blinking light we are gonna high tail it to this light and ignore every other thing Alright, as we approach, you'll notice the lights. Well, they are lights now, where it was one light from a distance. And as you see that little glowing area, that's going to be your point of interest. If you've never been there, I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So we'll just get in a little closer and enjoy our Big Benny's theme music. Thanks for watching. 